any week mga kabarya. Sa video natin ito, tatalakayin natin ang ating mga nakalap na stock balita update para sa ating PSE Stock Market Philippines. Ngayon ay October 17, 2021. Saka dito pala guys sa ating Kabarya Avenue PH YouTube channel, sinishare natin yung ating experience at dinodocument yung ating pag-aaral sa mga nakita nating pangmasang Pinoy investment at potential digital assets in investment na pwede tayong kumita kagaya ng stock market, Pag-ibig MP2 Savings and Investment Program, Gcash Investment, Cryptocurrencies and Altcoins, gaya ng Bitcoin, Cardano, Dogecoin, Binance, Litecoin, Chainlink and Ethereum, at iba pang pangmasang Pinoy Investment. Kaya guys, kung trip at korsonada mo ng ganitong mga content, pwede mo ring pindutin yung red subscribe button dyan sa baba para ma-update ka pa ng ating mga latest na ina-upload na video tungkol sa ating pag-aaral ng mga pangmasang Pinoy investment at potential digital assets in investment naman. Alright, bago natin umpisahan guys, huwag nyo palang kalimutang basahin yung disclaimer na nasa screen ng ating video. Okay guys, ladies and gentlemen, pag-usapan natin ang ating mga nakalap na PSE Stock Balita Update ngayong October 17, 2021. At unahin natin ang ating stock balita update para sa ating All Day Mart kasi ito ay nagsimula na sa offering ng kanyang IPO o yung tinatawag na Initial Public Offering of Common Investment Shares bago ito makitang officially tradable stock sa ating PSE Stock Market Philippines. From ABS-CB News, dated October 13, 2021. All Day Mart sets final price of IPO at 0.6 pesos per common share. Basahin natin ang nilalaman ng stock balitang ito para kay All Day Mart. Manila All Day Marts Incorporated on Wednesday said it has set the final offer price for its initial public offering at 0.60 pesos per common share. The final number of offer shares is is 6,857,143,000 with up to 685,714,000 option shares, the billiard-led firm told the stock exchange. All Day Marts filed the registration statement for its IPO in August. The Securities and Exchange Commission in September approved its IPO. The IPO will run from October 15 up to October 25. While the listing is scheduled on November 3, the Securities and Exchange Commission earlier said, Proceeds from the IPO will be used for debt repayment, capital expenditures, and working capital for expansion, the Securities and Exchange Commission said, citing documents filed by the All Day Marts. All Day Marts is a supermarket operator with a total of 33 stores. Para sa akin, malaki pa ang magiging potential growth ng ating All Day Mart kasi konti pa lang yung number of stores nito dahil nasa total of 33 stores pa lang sa kanyang expansion kayang-kaya pang doblehin yung total number of stores nito in the future at ang kagandahan, nasa retail sector ito priority, essential, and number one basic needs ito ng ating community dahil ito ay nasa pagkain or groceries ang number one products nito kaya malaki yung potential growth nito sa ating market okay kaya kung trip at kursonada ninyong mag subscribe ng online investment shares para sa ating all day supermart ito ay nagsimula na ang IPO start date nito ay October 15 at matatapos yung offering ng kanyang IPO sa October 25 Inuulit natin, ang last day ng IPO ni All Day ay sa October 25, 2021. Ang listing date naman nito na makikitang tradable stock sa ating PSE Stock Market Philippines ay sa November 3, 2021. Ang magiging stock code ng ating All Day Mart ay All Day Y. Ang price per share naman nito ay napakababa lang nasa 0.60 pesos per share. 
kaya magiging attractive ito sa ating mga PSE investors. Okay? Kasunod nating nakalap na stock balita update para sa ating paborit na si Jollibee, ang ating Master of Chicken Joy from ABC News pa rin, dated October 12, 2021. Jollibee expands in North America, opens new stores in US Canada. Basahin natin ang nilalaman ng stock balita ng ating JFC. Manila Jollibee Foods Corporation said Tuesday, it continued to expand across North America. It recently opened stores in Florida and Calgary in Canada. The Pembroke Finds Jollibee store, which opened last September 29, is the first in the South Florida region. The company said in a statement Jollibee has stores in Jacksonville and Tampa, it said. The new location is also the 53rd in the U.S., JFC said. Meanwhile, Jollibee also opened its third store in Calgary, located in the city of Calgary, Alberta, last September 29. It is the 22nd store in Canada, JFC said. Yung total store niya dito sa country ng Canada, meron ng 22 store ang ating Jollibee. Both stores offer pickup as well as online ordering channels such as mobile app. Its website and though the DoorDash delivery platform Jollibee said, Jollibee which also has an extensive expansion plan in Europe, operates in 34 countries with over 5,800 stores globally. Marami na yung mga kalat na stores ang ating Jollibee worldwide kasi meron itong total of 5,800 stores globally. Okay? Marami na rin tayong na-discuss na magagandang store project ventures ng ating JFC at habang unti-unting nag-i-improve yung pagkontrol ng worldwide countries sa issue ng ating COVID pandemic, sumasabay din yung opening at improvement para sa store project venture ng ating JFC at ito yung nagpo-push to the upside para sa bullish price action ng ating Jollibee. Kaya unti-unting nagiging attractive ito para sa ating mga foreign investors. Kasunod nating istak balita para kay GMA from Business World dated ito ng October 15, 2021. GMA Network opens regional station in Sambuanga. Basahin natin yung nilalaman ng istak balita ng ating GMA Network. GMA Network Incorporated launch a regional TV station in Sambuanga City which will serve audiences in Sambuanga Peninsula as well as nearby provinces of Basilan, Tawi-Tawi, and Sulu. In an emailed statement on Friday, the network said GMA Sambuanga will be its fourth regional TV station in Mindanao and it will also serve as GMA Regional TV's Western Mindanao Hub. It is also its 10th regional TV station in the Philippines. Viewers can watch GMA's local and national programs on GMA Channel 9 Sambuanga and GMA Channel 12 Hulu Sulu. Maganda rin itong naging network expansion channel ng ating GMA para sa improvement ng signal at frequency ng GMA News TV para sa ating mga Mindanawenyos at lalo na't wala pa sa ere yung big competitor ng channel ng ating GMA News TV. Okay? Kasunod nating stock balita para sa ating stock na si MPI from Business World at dated ito ng October 15, 2021. Metro Pacific Tollways to start installing EV charging stations next year. Alamin natin yung nilalaman ng stock balita ng ating MPI. MPT Mobility, a new entity that houses all the non-tool rated enterprises of Metro Pacific Tollways Corporation, MPTC, announced on Thursday that the group would start installing electric vehicle EV charging stations along its expressways in year 2022. We will start next year, MPT Mobility Vice President for Business Development, Mark Richmond M. De Leon, A former transport department undersecretary said 
at a webinar hosted by the MPTC. At least one AV charging station in NLEX North Luzon Expressway, one in Cavitex Manila Cavite Expressway, and even in Calax Cavite Laguna Expressway. That's the plan in our mobility, he said. Mr. De Leon also said the next step would be the installation of EV charging station in parking lots. The Energy Department said in September that it had endorsed to the Board of Investments a 2.5 billion pesos investment project that would bring in 20,000 imported electric vehicles. Electric vehicle registrations fell 35% to 1,015 in year 2020 from 1,570 in year 2019. According to Electric Vehicle Association of the Philippines, President Edmund A. Araga, global EV sales are expected to grow from 4 million units in year 2021 up to 35 million units in year 2030. Kakaiba itong project venture ng ating MPI kasi nagbibet sila sa future innovation at ina-anticipate nila yung mass adoption ng mga electric vehicle in the future. Kaya unti-unting sinisimulan na ni MPI yung development ng electric vehicle charging station o yung tinatawag na EV charging station. Okay? At isunod natin ang update ng ating Philippine Stock Exchange Index from Philstar Global na itala ito October 15, 2021. PSEI hits fresh 9-month high as virus cases decline. Alamin natin yung nilalaman ng stock balitang ito ng ating Philippine Stock Exchange Index. Manila, Philippines, local equities continued their climb on Friday to hit their highest level in 9 months as declining infections boost hopes for further easing of pandemic lockdowns. The Philippine Stock Exchange Index PSEI capped the week with 0.42% gains to close at 7,213.46. This was the local bourses strongest finish since closing at 7,238.46 on January 15. The broader all shares index went up 0.11%. Gumaganda na ang lagay ng ating PSE index kasi nagbabounce na tayo at nagso-support sa area ng above 7,000 level up to 7,200 level ang ating Philippine Stock Exchange Index. Okay? At ayon sa ating Okta Research, an independent panel of experts said Thursday that cities in the capital region are now at moderate risk from COVID-19. Maganda ito dahil effective yung COVID mass vaccination ng ating mga municipalities. Nasa moderate risk na tayo at unti-unting iikot ulit ang cash flow ng ating ekonomiya. At isa ito para maging basihan na maging attractive yung ating PSE index para sa ating mga foreign investors. At i-play naman natin yung stock balita update ng ating PSEI. From ABS-CB News, dated ito ng October 16, 2021. Okay, panoorin natin yung update ng ating Philippine Stock Exchange Index. I-play natin ito. 1, 2, 3. Philippine shares logged their highest close since January. The main index breaking above the 7,200 level after gaining four-tenths of a percent. For the week, the PSEI is also up by over 4%. IGC Securities believes the easing of restrictions in Metro Manila continues to boost the market mood. It also notes investors turned to previous laggards like property and banks while pandemic winners were sold down. Amid the optimism at breaking the 7,000 level this week, Absolute Traders Bonner Ditok advises caution, saying the main index may have to overcome some hurdles before investors could say that the market is back on its growth trajectory. We could probably be seeing a strong fourth quarter despite what happened this year. 
and it may extend to the first quarter of next year. So the, as I said, we need to take out that 7-5 level before anything else. The more people that we have uh, that are vaccinated, the, the faster we get back to uh, our previous normal. Meanwhile, Joey Rojas of Eagle Equities sees the recent 8% drop in the share prices of Megawide Construction Corporation as a knee-jerk reaction to news of criminal charges being lodged against officers of GMR Megawide Cebu Airport Corporation for the alleged violation of the anti-dummy law. Megawide says it has yet to receive official documents on the case, but even now, Rojas does not see this affecting M-Wide shares long-term or its 4 billion peso follow-on preferred shares offering tentatively set for October 29. It's just an indictment, I think. No one has been has been judged guilty or you know, like if if it were something like that, then it would be a big problem. Rain Musni, ABS CBN News. All right, at yan ang ating mga nakalap na stock balita update ng ating PSE Stock Market Philippines ngayong October 17, 2021. Magkita ulit tayo sa kasunod nating video once again. Have a great weekend Sunday. Always stay safe and God bless. Hanggang sa muli.